two, one. Hello and welcome to the Classically Urban Podcast. My name is The Legacy. I'm OG Philly G. I'm George Georgeopolis. And it's Baby Ice Cube. Today, we're going to be talking about what? Well, there's a whole lot of shit to talk about. I wanted to talk about the whole news with the Russian Russia investigation. You guys know about that? Tell me. All right, so those of you who don't know, there's a special counsel out for Trump's ass. Right. Oh yeah. So Which is great. they recently got some new leads. Yeah. Um, well, there's some new fucking things. So leads was the right word. No, they're no, not even leads. <laughs> info. Yeah, not even info. Fuck. I love. I love. I love. I wish we they could see his motions because he's literally just like moving his hands up and down, back and forth. Doing the robot. I'm doing the robot, vision. man. Unless he like wave it in front of the mic really fucking fast. Fucking, you can't hear. He's me. doing the white person so dance. That's what he's leads, doing. Leads, you say? Not leads. Basically, there's an arrest. Uh, of Paul Manafort for 12 counts, including conspiracy against the U.S. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, there's... That's, hold on. For those yeah. who don't know, Paul Manafort is... The Trump's former campaign manager. Okay. All right, so... Oh, keyword former. <laughs> yeah. There's probably a reason he's fired. <laughs> oh, there's not a campaign going on anymore, so... I mean, but he's still... Fucking goofy. I know that, but I'm yeah. saying he still keeps his... He, the team still stays with him, even though he's in the in the office already. But he yeah. has no... He, Anyway. 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 So, there was saying, a, shout like, out. Most of them. Shout out. All right. I think there's another arrest, someone with the last name Gates, who no one's ever heard of ever. And turns out back in July, they had actually arrested someone. They No one found out about this. Um, and he's actually working with them. His name is George Papadopoulos. Oh, yeah. I read about him. Right? Yeah. yeah. Brother. yeah. Uh, my kidding. brother? My brother? No. Yeah, Cotty's fine. fine. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Different last names, Brandon. Yeah, you know, they're all Greek. It's all the same. No, everyone That's always fine. made the same joke. Like, even last night, fucking Eli, the first thing that happens when I come in, I'm like, dude, I heard you got arrested. I'm like, ha, 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 Papadopoulos. Yeah. That's what my dad always called you. <laughs> right. Which, no, it was Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, why do all Greeks have the same last name, though? Low key. I don't know why. I was about to say some shit, but no. <laughs> no, go ahead. Be racist. That's fine. I'm waiting for it. I'm ready. Go. It's because they were slaves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why. I mean, it's, it is why. But. Anyway. Um, you think Israel's real last name would have been Johnson? <laughs> First of all, he's got he's got an African middle name. Olo Fumi? No. That's, that's Caleb. Caleb. Fuck. Caleb. His middle name's Amon. Yes. Amon? Amon. 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 Something like that. Amon? They forgot the R and A M M O N. Why are we talking about him? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It happens. What if, he, what if he's like listening? He's like, "Who's motherfucker?" <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, he was arrested. Papadopoulos flipped it and is working with them now. Um, he pleaded guilty to one count of lying to the FBI. I don't know what the actual term for that is. Probably obstructs. No. No. Mm, I don't know what the exact term is. But yeah, it's just he's on their ass. But here's the bad thing. The actual trial for them, sadly, isn't going to be until May of next year. Ha <laughs> Of course. Yeah. For a week. Fucking. That's, you know. So that's the news for our lovely yeah. president. The, the man lovely who, POTUS. The, the man who may have uh, undermined our democracy is, yeah. you know, he's, we, everyone knows we hate him. It's going to take it's a fine. year for us to get answers because, you know. Yeah. That's no, it actually the structure and integrity of our country means fucking nothing. No, 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 right? no. That's good because it gives them time to investigate more. A whole year? Yeah. They need a year to investigate. Even this isn't the end of the investigation. This is one I'm arrest. Saying, yeah. It's a long time. I think the more important thing is that these the next hey, the it, next two year elections coming up is going to be so important. Yeah. Like, it's going to be the most... It's going to be more important than the president. Yeah, everybody go vote. Yeah. Vote, please. Yeah, fuck. Yes. Please vote. Vote for That's dogs. why we're in this situation, yeah. because everyone wants to get on Twitter yeah. and yes. not vote. Yes. Vote. Actually, no, no, no. That was one of the things that the Russia's, Russians did. They made a fake account that said you could vote from Twitter. And people fucking believed it. So they just put hashtag Hillary or hashtag... No, no, no. Yeah, he's, exactly that. Like, ah. from this time to this time on this date, if you... <sighs> Send out this hashtag. It will count as your vote. Are you shitting me right now? I, I hate. I hate. No, dude. Russia so is a piece of shit. Like, <clears throat> you know, out there they have. Um, they would like. There was these companies that would buy like these really big buildings, mm. office buildings, right? Or sometimes warehouses, and they would set up like troll farms. Yeah, thousands of like desktops, and they would have. They would hire people to sit at a computer all day and make like fake facts and put them on memes oh, about Hillary God. and the opposing force. Yeah. No, they did it on both sides. It wasn't so much that well, it was to well, an extent. To well, get now to we're now we're learning it could have been. 
more or less. No, right? it was also just create divides in general. Yeah. Great, like, that's it, fried. Like, yeah. that's insane. That's so crazy to think about. Oh. Well, speaking yeah. on the fact of Hillary. Um, Piece of shit. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't even go there. But she is. She's the, a piece um, of shit. I don't rigged, remember what this lady. She the election. Yeah. I mean, well. Well, the, there's, the, the Democratic election. Which, can I just. The primary. Yeah, can, yeah, can I just like. <laughs> Go Can ahead. I really point this out, like, real quick, just as – they proved it. Like, they figured out she rigged it, right? Yeah. They, it, this was a fact. This, this happened. And everyone was just like, ah. Yeah, so who's going to be president now? Is it Trump or Hillary? And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck <laughs> on? Like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. And then, like, she was on The Daily Show a couple days ago, and she was like, and people just want me to go away. Yes, bitch, we're trying to see your dumbass face. <laughs> you know, everywhere she goes, something comes back fucked up. Yeah. Like – like no fucking, matter what she does, she ends up screwing it up somehow. In Libya, it. remember when she took yep. down Gaddafi? There was no one. It just left a power vacuum. Yeah. And then so he's got a bunch of fucking refugees flooding out of Northern Africa. I just think it's really fucked that <clears throat> it was proven that she rigged it, and everyone just kind of was like, "Ah, <coughs> we knew it. That's a thing. Well, we're gonna continue on now." I'll, and even like our government, why? What yeah. the hell? Like. Well, here's the thing. Why wouldn't that have disqualified her? I don't understand. Here's the thing. The what DNC is, a, and the same reason they didn't, they don't really care all that much what, about the whole DNC hacking, is because it's the DNC is a private thing. Like, there's no one in the Constitution. Like, oh, there'll be Democrats and oh, Republicans. Yeah, true, yeah. true facts. Yeah. But so the this lady named Donna Brazil, she's the former um, Democratic National Committee head. So she's kind of like the one who is like can make those big decisions, saying like she. Like, who's the nominee for the Democratic Party? She can't make that unilaterally, but she has a very big say in who it is. And she just recently wrote a book. I've got to find the name of the book before I'm done talking about it. However, in this book, she basically just spills out all these secrets that they've been hiding in the Democratic, like, that she's that she's been dealing with personally that other people have been dealing with. And one of them was, like, it was about the, ele- about the rigging of the election. Now, granted, she's a little biased because she works for them, and she is the head of that committee. However, she said that there was no... That there is no evidence of the actual rigging. Now you can believe whatever side you want. It's whatever the what. She it she happened. Did it. Apparently I, there was I know, no. I know, but like yeah. it happened. We can't go back and change it. Yeah. But what I find interesting about this is that she actually in this book, like full out said, I consider replacing Clinton with Biden for the 2016 election. Wow. Yeah. But the only reason she didn't, women, because Hillary would have been the first woman president. To ever, to as ever. much as a piece of shit is, uh, you know, never mind. And so, like, I was gonna, I was about to say it would have been like cool to have a woman president, but I don't really want her to have that. Time. <laughs> we'll wait for somebody a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. But she, she was going to um, replace Clinton and Kane with Biden and Obama. Um, no, <laughs> God, no. I don't remember who the guy was. He was a senator from. Um, I don't remember where he's from. He's some senator, but yeah, she was like. She said, she said, like, she could see their campaign was being run by bad management. And she even, like, straight up said, like, to Hillary's, like, the head of her campaign r- runners, that you can't treat me like a slave. I'm not just your whipping girl. Because they would literally make her, they would try to get her to do all these things to get the black vote. The lady who wrote the book? Yeah. They would, they would always try to get her to do these things to get the black vote and the minority vote, but they gave her no money to do it. And then they would get mad at her when she couldn't do it because she didn't have the money to do it. So she's like, you're not going to treat me like your slave. Like, you're going to sit here and whip me. And, like, she literally said, um, I don't remember, it was, like, one of the slaves from 12 Years a Slave. She said, I'm not, the, like, whatever that actor's in the Kunta, the just say Kit. Yeah, hey, no, it's the same thing. But it's, like, I find it interesting that this happens. You're not you're not going to hide that sound, but. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not picking it up. Yeah, okay. Um, it, <laughs> watch, it actually is. <laughs> is it? Yes, yeah. it is. Shit. Asshole. Stop <laughs> it. Sorry. <laughs> but hungry. I, I find it interesting that, like, that Be was hungry happening. in another room. Okay, we're good. All right. It's always interesting when people release these books about like what goes on behind the scenes, whether you want to believe it or not. It's always fun and interesting what like we don't get to like hear about when it's happening. I always like those um when people come out. Uh, who's that one guy? Ben- Jesse Ventura? Is that his name? Yeah, I think so. He what, was like, what are you talking you about? You don't know who I'm talking about? It could be any number of creatures, but I can't tell you <laughs> yes to one guy. Yeah, big ass, he's that big about. ass motherfucker with the ponytail, with yeah, the receding yes, hairline. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, Jesse Ventura. Ventura. I like, I like his shit because. Was what? What was he? He was uh, what? S- I think he was governor of maybe Arizona. Was he, wasn't he like CIA or something like that? No, he was. He might have been on yeah, the movies. I think, 
I don't know. I'm lost. You lost me because you're just throwing out names. You don't know. Real, I didn't real, know what you're talking about. Real quick, real quick. You know who Jesse I, is? No, but real quick, I, I found the title of the book. It's literally called Hacks, the inside story of the break-ins and breakdowns that, <coughs> that put Donald Trump in the White House. <coughs> Savage book oh, title, by different the way. Guy. Hmm. You, did, you had what, no what, idea. What about his old, older like pictures of his younger self? He's still rocking that know. ponytail? Yeah, hell yeah, he's rocking the ponytail. Why did a picture of Muhammad Ali come up? Anyway. Uh, so what? What's happened now that this is out? Are there any? I mean, it ju- it just came out Tuesday, and I haven't. I don't think anyone really. Yo, you guys heard about Hillary's book, right? <laughs> oh, the, the title of it and shit. Nah, I heard. Fuck, I forget what it is. Yeah, it's called What Happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's called What Happened. <laughs> really, bitch? You tell me. If you guys could see, his did the bus expression. break down? Did the bus break down in Michigan? Yes. <laughs> Fucking stupid what dummy. <laughs> what happened? Said, what happened? I mean, you know, when you run a terrible campaign, yeah. it's like... I'll tell you what happened. Your husband husband got blown. This is your way of getting back at him, you fucking... Wow. <laughs> you wow. Went, you went so left field with that. I don't know where that came from, but... He was the governor of Minnesota, by the way. Jesse Ventura. Okay. Oh. You don't know who Jesse Ventura is? Mm-mm. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, well, I've probably show, seen him before, but... some show, and he writes a bunch of books. Basically, he has, like... He has a show where he based um, lets out all the 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 juicy details. Psychotic. I'm playing. He, he lets out all the juicy details of you know the behind the scenes and shit. Yeah. He's been doing it for years. Turns out he killed JFK. Yeah, he did that shit. I've oh, did you see? Did um, there was this uh, video that just came out. It was like one of the it was one of the JFK shooting videos. It was like mm-hmm. one that hasn't been released, but it was like the full version and they had stabilized it interesting stuff bro yeah the way his head cocks back fucked up shit no there's like even (laughs) like official bang just like like even like actual political commentators who are sane don't think it was in what's it called it was just oswald nah i don't know about that okay i'm gonna just you want me to you want me to tell you my personal opinion on it I do think it was an inside job but it wasn't like oh he's doing all this it's because the dude was kind of a national security risk how? Like <coughs> all the bitches about? he was fucking, he only did yeah, Maryland. Come on, dude. No, 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 no. There was a massive amount. I know there was a massive. Who cares? Amount. No, oh, no. Because like, Pello talked to, to Russian spies who knew how, he was a fucking pusshound. My point is, how do you fact. know if there if it's Pillow talk? How you know what he said? Like you don't. They didn't want to risk it. You know the amount but of like parano- you can't. That's not a reason to kill. Do you like, know the amount of paranoia in the Cold War, man? I understand that, but like these weren't normal people. Base of pillow talk. That's bullshit. Like you don't know what goes on behind someone's closed door, so there's no reason to like kill them for it. No. Speaking of Marilyn Monroe, yeah, Hugh Hefner, who had recently passed, mm-hmm. got an American. You know hero. where he was buried? Where? Next to Marilyn Monroe. Oh shit, Marilyn, like a fucking gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, right there. <laughs> he was buried next to Marilyn Monroe. Can you know why? Who else better to be buried next to when you're the playboy? Who else better? I still don't like him. He's creepy. God what? Damn, Goddamn we, legend. We've had this discussion. Why? He's creepy. Jumping back to the JFK thing. Did you see Sarah Huckabee Sanders thought JFK and Kennedy were two separate people? <laughs> <laughs> this happened on TV. Yep. The Secretary of Press, right? That's, That's almost funnier than press when secretary? Shannon Sharp put a black and mild out on national television. Because that was funny. What? Did what? you not see that? No. Bruh. He literally, because like the Denver had beat Dallas, right? In football. And, a, <coughs> and Skip Bayless is a huge Cowboys fan, right? So, it just to be and it just to be a jackass rubbing in Skip's face, he starts celebrating with a cigar. This dude pulled out a black and mild. And started talking about getting pumped up off the hen dog. And like, I mean like... You have to look at the clip. He was just went straight gangster with it. I was like, "You the real MVP, dude." It was f- it was so funny. Oh God! Wow. Hold up. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's like, oh. like, like on national TV. Oh him. Yeah. yeah. He's funny. Oh, that's fucking. Oh, please tell me it's a wine wood tip. Hold up. <laughs> I mean, there's no way of telling. It better be. No, I think I can tell whether it's a wood tip or not. I mean, just but you don't zoom know. in closer. You don't know if it's one. <laughs> <laughs> Cody looks so disappointed. No, I think it's a vanilla plastic tip. So, how do you know vanilla? (laughs) I used to smoke these things all the time. So did I. They're different colors, Cody. Yeah. So, I'm reading this article. Papa John's 
as you heard, as you recently might have heard, like <laughs> the alt right claimed it as their as their pizza. <laughs> well, Papa John's, the national now, pizza of Nazis, by the way, that's what he's trying pa- to say. Papa John's has now been forced to tell racists not to eat its pizza. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that you think it's something all companies should start doing? Like, don't yeah. shop here if you're a racist. <laughs> well, he, he pulled all sponsorship of the NFL. Did he? Yeah. So he's no longer advertising Papa John's on Good. What? Why? football, like anything NFL. Because <coughs> he was losing money because people weren't buying his pizzas, and he attributes it to the lack of advertisement due to the <coughs> lack of viewers from the NFL protests. Which, screw I that. mean, but is he wrong? I mean, no, he's not. I mean, he's he has every right to do that. It's the other people that the people who are pro, who are mad about the process. Look, like, when, when I saw that article come out, people were complaining like, ah, we're making a joke about it, you know, like. He thinks the protests are affecting his pizza. They they are. They, <laughs> they actually, in fact, are because from a business standpoint, you pay all this money to have commercials on something that's viewed that has millions and millions of people view it every Sunday, and Monday, yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Monday, Sunday. Three days out of the week. That's a lot of football. There's a lot of people watching that shit. Football, yeah. <laughs> that's why basketball's and gonna so come up. And so when people start protesting and don't want to watch it if out of protest. What happens? People don't see your commercials as much. Whether people realize or not, commercials work. You know, it's gr- this is the NFL protest. I just thought about this. Great for all the other sports in America. Oh yeah, fantastic. Even cricket. B- b- shut up. Baseball. Bro, what is with they can, cricket? If they, if they capitalize on this, baseball can be back on the up and up. Man. I was I was curious. I was actually thinking about that. Like, I'm curious to see what um, if they if anyone has done like statistics as to like whether <coughs> where everyone gravitated <laughs> towards after. They decided not to yeah, watch I football think, anymore. I think the only thing is I wouldn't put the NBA in that because the NBA is growing so fast anyway that it's like. I'd be curious to see like I just want to know where the viewer spike is because yeah. obviously you have like that's massive drop off. Where did everyone go? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> hockey. Uh, yep. Even we watched hockey recently, man. Y'all watched hockey, bro. We went to oh, a yeah. live hockey yeah. game, bro. Y'all went to a game. The three of us went to a hockey game. Yeah. Thanks oh, yeah. for the fucking invite. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. You know what's even better. Bill paid for it. Yeah, thanks for the fucking invite. Like, Bill, you're the OG, man. <laughs> what the hell did I do to you? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, it was so much fun. I just don't fun. think you were there like, when it all happened and everything got planned. So. Dude, it was so much fun. Because it was kind of last minute. I'm like, hey, you guys want to go? <coughs> I'd already been facts. talking to him. Facts. Yeah, facts. Nick went. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all got to experience something together. We, we sat front row right there behind. It's the not ice. like I didn't grow up down the street from you guys. You know, hanging out. You since didn't grow Pampers. up down the street from me. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I've <laughs> been hanging out since goddamn Pampers. Damn it. We've been hanging out since the, what third grade? Ten? Shut up. Okay. Shut up. All right. Jerry curl. I don't have a Jerry curl, dude. Anymore. He did when we met. No, because he was dripping. No, he would walk no. into summer camp. Dripping. I ain't had no activator in my head. Stop it. He was dripping. Stop it. <laughs> Cody, Cody. Stop. Stop. Okay, so I have. It was all natural. I was. I had this Shut coworker. Up. I have this coworker right now, and he was talking about <coughs> how he had a Jerry curl in uh-huh. high school, and uh-huh. I was making fun of him. I was like, "Oh, you really thought you was getting girls with the Jerry curl?" And he was like, "Man, I did." And I was like, "You for sure did not get any more females in your life because of a, a Jerry curl." And he goes, "I used to walk into school, man, and I'd be dripping." And I was like, "Uh." No. <laughs> like that coming to America shit. You know, what, you know what he says, bro? He goes, you don't know the feeling you get when a girl's giving you head and your activator drips on her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, man, that's when you know you're a man. And I was like, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is great. Oh, oh my man. God. I'm so fried. Bro, like, so the best Jerry Curl story I've ever heard told is from Charlemagne. He's talking about how this is kind of depressing at the same time, but like he got molested when he was a kid by his aunt, uh-huh. and like he puts this out there all the time. He's like, and she had a Jerry curl, and the, uh-huh. only, and the, only, and the only reason he didn't want to do it, in, like do that anymore, is because it made, the smell made him nauseous. That's the only reason he stopped. He stopped like going to her house and stuff. Wow. I was like, dude, that's so fucked up. So now he can't stand the smell of Jerry curls. So, in recent news, yeah, recent as in today, there was a. Uh, Mass? Not mass. Yeah, it's mass. Is that what they call it? Mm-hmm. It was a shooting. It, how many people? Died? It depends on how you classify. Twenty twenty-five. Yep. Yeah, that's a mass shooting, man. That's a mass. Really? That's it's the fifth. Mass means a lot, right? I think it's no. Only twenty-five people. It's the sixth biggest in our lifetime. I, think, what, I believe. The church? I, I believe. What? Mm-hmm. Really? Hey, 
Hey, like like that guy said in Wolf of Wall Street, got to get them numbers up, man. <laughs> <laughs> got to get them numbers up. Well, because Las Vegas was the largest. <laughs> and then it was the Orlando shooting. And then it was Virginia Tech. And then there was another one. Columbine? Columbine wasn't. What about Sandy Hook? I don't know if Columbine was up there. Yeah, Sandy, there Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook was. I don't know if Sandy Hook was up there either. Yeah. There's okay, a lot I mean, of them. There's like 40 in the past 20 years. There's not a whole lot of. Um, I hate how I know the statistics now. What do you call it? There's not a lot of whole um, information that's come out yet. No, there's not. Not quite yet, but the most recent article I have here says uh, he was wearing all black and a ballistic vest. Wow. Okay. And he opened fired with a rifle outside of a small Baptist church. I continued firing. He killed at least 26 people, um, injured at least uh, another 20 um, 20, 23 people died inside the church, so like they were they were in there, dead. It's kind of I'm not a religious man, but that is kind of a disturbing way to go. And there was a baby. Yeah, it says supposedly I think um, one article was saying there was a two year old um, that was shot. I don't th- know if she died, and then there was another. There was a 14 year old who also was killed yep. in the shooting. Well, there was another two year old as well. Um, one of the shooter's bullets left the church and went into the person's house across the street. What the oh, fuck? It missed his two-year-old, her, her two-year-old grandson by like two feet. Wow. Yeah. But, oh, by about four feet. And Donald Trump, of course, tweeted about it. Yeah. Okay, can, can we just talk about that? <laughs> Not about, you know, even though he did, he says, I'm... I'm monitoring <coughs> the situation. From, 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 from Japan. Japan. Yeah. He's monitoring the situation. You're not. No, he's First not. First you're not, you don't care. Don't act like you well, do. Well, see, but he has access to all the satellites, so he's probably sitting there. Shut, Shut up. And not to mention all the bugs in the phones. What? I also want to know, like, what What time in life do we live in where we get all our information from our president, the, the, the leader of our fucking country, from Twitter? It's Twitter. It's, it's depressing, Twitter. dude. It's depressing. Twitter! Uh, well, see, I'm convinced because of all the stupid shit that gets put out there on the Donald Trump Twitter, like, it you don't can't think it's actually you don't be think him. It's, no, there's it, no, no, it has to it, be, it has because to be. there's no way any fucking logical PR person would ever put that out there. What's it? I mean, fuck, celebrities have better PR people than him. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, it's not somebody he knows, it's just some random person. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> you think it's like his asshole cousin? The only thing, the only, the only Trump. reason I don't Dolan, think that's no. happening is because... If he says something stupid enough Donald Trump doesn't like, that account will be shut down instantly. Yeah. That's the only reason I, don't, I think. Um, that if, like if it was a fake account and everyone thought it was a real president, yeah. well, that, if thing it was, would, that thing would have been shut down ages ago. Yeah. If there was somebody else tweeting, Donald Trump would for sure tweet about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for that last tweet. Somebody else tweeted it. Yeah. But like that's we were t- we've, been, we've talked about this a couple times where it's <laughs> like our, our society has become so focused on social media that it's like it's like the last week we were talking about praying like praying like I'm praying for you on Twitter <laughs> what does Me- that mean? it means nothing what does that absolutely mean? means nothing they put the hand together emoji like, and that turns this out this emoji I hate that this emoji that turns out yeah, it's a Apple high five no, it's just high five it's high five oh, I know, I know yeah. but like everyone's like oh, mass boom. shooting <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah but like the fact that that even like we've taken <laughs> that and like that exists in our society pisses me off so much because it's don't, like why I don't like it you, like you don't have if you my really... prayers are with the family, are they? Well, I don't remember the last time you prayed, bitch. <laughs> right? Because like... uh, as far as I know, a couple minutes ago, you were sucking his dick. <laughs> like, that's just, that's just <laughs> sense, man. That's, it's like if, you, like, if you really pray, like if you tweet it and then you really do pray about it, that's good. You know, do you. How many people do you know pray? That's what I'm saying. That's what <laughs> that's, I'm that's saying. That's the part that cracks me up that, about that's it. That's what makes me mad about it. I always it read it. Like... I'm like, if it's somebody I know, I'm like, you don't pray. Right? I know you. You don't right. pray. Right. And I want to call him out on so bad I'm like you know what I'm not gonna do that bleach your weird. asshole before you go to sleep you don't fucking pray you liar <laughs> but does it get on a t-shirt what does it get on a t-shirt <laughs> I feel like an asshole but like it's just it makes me mad because that's something that's been like because that means a lot to some people and it should true yeah but now like our society has just made it this joke and it's just like <sighs> If I were the one making a joke right now, I know, no, but I'm saying I think like we're the only ones who joke about it. Typically, no, nah, there's probably a few other people who feel the same way. No, oh, yeah, there no. are. There has oh, to yeah. be. I quoted Doug Stam and Hopper uh, last time we talked about this. Like when someone, it's basically, could you do less? That's what he's trying to say. Could you do less? Yeah, because like oh, if, you, okay, if you yeah. just tweet something, 
that's not doing anything. Like, you really just took two seconds out of your day just to tweet and then walk away from it. And here we're coming full circle, back to what I was saying earlier ago. Vote, people, because Twitter <laughs> does fucking nothing. Exactly. Speaking oh, of voting... Oh. I'm about to get on Twitter and pray for someone right now. Shut oh, up. yeah? Shut up. I'm he's really actually he's I'm really about loading, to do this. loading his Twitter app right now. Speaking of voting, um, if anyone wants to dabble in magic mushrooms, <laughs> California, don't, don't, don't California is now... Um, they have a... Um, What's the word I'm looking petition. for? Yeah, they have a petition. There's a uh, the legalization act of it is uh mo- is moving is like in the they they the article says it's cleared its first hurdle, which I guess allowed them to get this um, a petition. Yeah. Which I didn't know that you had to go through something to get a petition. I thought you could just do that, but now I know. But so, I, that might be like by every like different in every state. Maybe too, yeah. So I don't know. But in California, there is a petition right now for legalization of psilocybin mushrooms. It needs 365,000 signatures to be um, pushed towards the next step. You said 365,000? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it, how many people live? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like based off the population. and like State of California, only 365,000. And the way they do petitions now is you do it online. Yep, that's easy. So you just... And that's it, light work. <laughs> yeah, so three, and that will push it to the next step. So... Sometime in the near future, maybe in the next couple of years. Cody. Cody. Yeah, I see my Twitter. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, okay. I was going to say, check I'm, your I'm going to need, I'm I'm need you to leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so sometime in our distant future, we could, uh, there could be a state in this wonderful United States of America where we can get fucked up on funny mushrooms I'll, legally I'll be, <laughs> I'll I'll podcast. They're, they're gonna legalize mushrooms before before they legalize Bro, weed like, in, oh my God. in indiana By the way, I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> quick thing huh. do you know that so, that joe rogan once did a, a podcast on acid to prove a point why yep i forget what the point was but he just did it <laughs> clearly and it wasn't a good turns, point turns out turns out joey diaz just does it all the fucking time <laughs> <laughs> all the time did you hear about his um joe rogan sobriety run right now Oh, yeah. No sober. smoke November? Yeah. No, what? No smoke November? Yeah, they're not smoking weed. No, I thought they were just doing sober October. Oh, oh I think he's still doing so it. There's so many terms. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. There's so many terms. Sober October? I like that. That's good. That's, that's close. Sober that's October. Because they're making oh, yeah, Bert Kreischer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> he needs help. Let's be real. He's probably... Apparently, he doesn't because he made the entire... Did he? Yeah. Oh, look at him. Savage. And to celebrate it, he went and got fucked up. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the fact that there's going to be like an actual like psychedelic drug that's like legalized before weed. Well, here's like, what's funny, right? Really? Like, this is what I was talking to you guys earlier. I think one of you fuckers cut me off. But <laughs> psilocybin mushrooms, right? They're actually doing medical studies on them, yeah. and they're finding that it's a cure to mental health disorders such as like depression and anxiety <clears throat> they're not entirely sure why but they are finding that people who have taken them like almost like instantaneously <coughs> after after the fact you know after you've Gone. had your little trip or whatever yeah. you're you're happier and you're i guess your brain produces more dopamine do you want to know why it's Drop a that whole knowledge. new world. <laughs> <laughs> shut up well um yeah but so they're saying that you know maybe Somewhere in well, the distant future, possibly using it for medical purposes, not necessarily obviously eating mushrooms. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna you know, prescribe you some mushrooms, but the psilocybin. Yeah, so, could be an interesting. Logically, that makes sense because it's like a lot of those things are chemical imbalances in the brain, and that right. chemical might, for whatever reason, balance it out. Facts. Yeah. See, but they're doing testing on mushrooms, but they can't legally do testing with weed because it's a class one drug but they still do it though which is the same as heroin mind you bro fucks our, me up. Li- our, our government is fucked we yeah you know it fucks me up time. more you know it fucks me up more if i get pulled over with weed in my car and they figure that i have intent to sell right i go to jail for like 15 plus yep, yep. mandatory minimums. if i fuck a child i go between four to seven years <laughs> what you no. didn't know this bro no i fuck no, no, yeah, that's, yeah. that's facts. If I fuck a child, if I go and I fuck like can some like, eight year old okay, boy, can we, can we stop? Like, what? Make no, stop, no, please, please. This, this, like, no. Use, this is, use no. another term. For no, of a because guy. like this needs to, this is a, this needs to be addressed. Like, I understand yeah. that. But if, can you stop saying fuck so aggressively? Like, boy, it is aggressive. It's horrible. That's what I'm saying. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like that's weird. I'm saying if I get caught 
with like you if know, you over an ounce, yeah. right? And there just happens to be a scale in my trunk, and they figure he's selling weed. Yeah. I can go to jail for fifteen plus or well, prison. Yeah, for yep. fifteen plus years. Meanwhile, if you diddle a kittle. <laughs> and then Jared. Yeah. But if I turn around and I fuck a little boy, <laughs> God damn it. they're like, ah, four years, he'd be fine. You won't want to fuck children anymore. What? That's ridiculous. because nobody gets fucked in the ass for selling weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could get fucked in the ass. Like, gee, guys, I could go, guys, guys, guys. A lot could happen in 15 years. I'm just saying. And I got long hair. <laughs> This is probably the most vulgar podcast I think we've ever done. Good. Like, you just... You just, invited the wrong Jesus person. Christ. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, though, like, that's, that that's like, I feel like that's... If it's you're ever right. trying to explain to somebody, like, from a different country, how our justice system works, you can it just tell makes, them that. It makes no like, sense. Oh, that, that just sums it up perfectly, because that's ridiculous. It's absurd. I'm it's not, I mean... absurd. And then on top of that, our justice system, the way it also works is, like, I don't know if you know anyone who's ever been arrested or gone through the system. I mean, I know people. I've never asked them questions about it. I just right. know they've been to. So what they'll also do, it's really fucked up. So my friend, my, my close friend, Jeremy, right? He's mm. in prison right now. Free Jeremy. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, free, free Jeremy. He's, he's, a, he's actually a really great guy. But <clears throat> regardless. Um, I just felt like an asshole saying that. So I had to say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what they do to you is like they give you basically the runaround. So when he did get in trouble, whatever. He didn't have a court date, so, you know, they process uh, you, yeah. and so you, you're free again <coughs> after a while, because mm -hmm. it's an open investigation. When it's an open investigation, they let you go. Yeah. And then they bring you back, and then they decide, okay, we're going to give you a court date now. And then they take you to jail. Not prison, jail. Yeah. So, county jail. Yeah. And then you sit in there. And you know how long you sit in there? Probably weeks. How? No. What? If, what? No. You're going to sit in jail for however long... They decide, uh, uh, oh, yeah, that one Jeremy guy. That's so funny. No, in weeks, bro. no, bro. He was he was easily in jail for at least two, three months before they gave him his court date. That's crazy. And then when you go to court, <coughs> and they give you time in prison. So you just waited three months in jail just to get, uh, you know, a couple of years in prison. <laughs> that's So, I mean, you're basically in there for, and somebody, I'm guessing that's the, he probably got a quick. I and mean, they give you the runaround, and sometimes. They'll keep delaying your shit. Yep. So they'll tell you, oh, okay, you have court this day. It got delayed. Now, mind you, the whole time you're sitting in jail waiting for this. Yep. So when they tell you you have court date, it's almost like relief. Like, oh, my God, I can finally get out of this. You, you have a chance to go to prison, though. But you can finally yep. you know, get out of that situation. Yep. Oh, no, by the way, sorry, man. It got pushed back a couple more months. You're going to have to sit in here a little bit longer. And that could be like from anything from the judge, just like. Yeah. Having, and, like and, having, You like, know what's even more fucked about that? That's in one of the amendments. You have the right to a yep. sp uh, what, something. Speedy trial. Speedy, speedy trial. trial. Yeah. That's not speedy. Not speedy at all. No, but you have to understand the fucking massive amounts of people they put through that system. Maybe they shouldn't put so many people who don't deserve to be in that system. Ah, that system. Please, there we please. go. Here it's we go. Much. Let's not be I'm logical. Just, I'm just that's way, <laughs> that's way too simple. Please. Right. That's like, like, you know, I mean, I'm just, you know. Who's this guy? He thinks with his brain and shit. Just an average black dude in college, you know. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Maybe they'll, Look, maybe man, they'll hear it, you know. Yeah. People got... are will are selling plants to willing customers. We have to stop <laughs> this shit <laughs> immediately. How dare they? Guys, four early twenty year olds just figured it out. Like it's Bruh, not that hard, right? <laughs> just, Our country hasn't been able to do it right for a couple hundred years. Yeah. Just cause a just cause a black man, a Mexican, a white dude, whatever the was, just cause they got a little bit of weed on them, they don't need to go to jail for that. I mean, that ain't nothing bad. What kills me also is that you know they let things like heroin get like right. such of right, and, and they allow it. They um they enable. That's the word. They enable this shit. Cause like your mom was saying, I was state, I just thought about that. Like the, the state just bought how much? You said two hundred fifty thousand yeah. units of the what's it called? Narcan. Narcan. The, the Narcan. 250,000 units and they give them shits away. So, if I want to, I can shoot up heroin, right? And I die. Just have it your homie. It doesn't matter. Just it have your homie put that narc in. It doesn't fucking Good. matter. You can go to CVS and buy the shit. Or, if you just, you know, don't want to deal with that, you call it, the paramedics and they'll do it for you. It doesn't bring you back to life. Oh, no. It does. No. It, like that. It, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, if you're actually dead, it will not bring you back to life. That's not how it works. It just brings you out of your high. Of your overdose, right? Any sort of high, right? So like you have to catch it before during he's, before overdose. you die. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like 
pre-death. Which I mean, when you're, when you're that high, you're probably you might as well be dead anyway. Yeah, I don't even so. want to think about it. But I'm just saying, like, ooh, we live in a country where enabling this it's plant, just... right? Ah, ah. If you if I, you get caught with that plant, you get 15 years in prison with big panties. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, oh, think shit. about that, bro. Think about that. I could go and hang out and be susceptible to a motherfucker like big panties. <laughs> Because I have a plant in my pocket. He said big panties. <laughs> Do you know who big panties is? Oh, you want to know who big panties is? Fu- who is- <laughs> now, here's what's fucked up, right? I thought it was a joke. No, Did I ever a- tell you I looked this up online? What, there, was a for- there was a forum, and this dude was talking about it on a forum, bro. <laughs> <laughs> big panties a real motherfucker. Your dad, hey, look, your dad was saying that he's not. Nah, there was multiple people who confirmed to me that big panties is a real man. That's so Big Why? panties is real and he sucked my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So big panties, the way he was described to me is the biggest, blackest, strongest, faggotest motherfucker <laughs> in prison. Whoa. We Whoa. We don't say that word here. Whoa. Well, it was that's how it was quoted to me. That's that's <laughs> fair, but just a future reference, like, let's not So apparently he's huge, like some somewhere around like six four, six five, like pushing like two hundred some easy like over two hundred some pounds. Holds all of the um the weightlifting uh, mm. titles in the prison system like he lifts more than everybody that's not okay the guards like give him extra food because they're like they you know they want to see him like get bigger and shit yeah. that's so and probably that's so, so they don't oh get, my know. god yeah, that, that's, that's terrible yeah. now here's big panties right oh my god <laughs> he won't fuck you though well if he likes you mm. more than the average bear <laughs> he won't fuck you right so you get you you just get to prison right you've just been um instated you got your you know what what's the word you know you got Processed. Yes. You got processed. You're walking in. They're giving you your cell, whatever the word. You're already depressed because you're in jail. Yeah, you're already sad as fuck. Yeah. I'm in prison. I'm in prison. What's going to go on in here? You're about to find out. (laughs) Because if you, if you know, you might be sitting, it might be chow time. And you're eating all by yourself because you're the new guy and you're not really sure where to go. Yeah. And prison's kind of scary. Yeah. Kind of? Just, <laughs> just, just kind of? And then Apparently, you got, if you're big panties, it's kind of fun. <laughs> and then you got somebody tapping you on the shoulder. Hey. What's up, bro? Big panties pointing at you. What are you talking about? You got chose. What does that mean? And you look over and you see this big, <laughs> very dark black guy pointing at you. That's all he'll do. He'll just point at you. That's so and then people will tell you, like, yo, Big Panties is pointing at you. And you're like, who the fuck is Big Panties? <laughs> is, why do they call him that? And then, you know, you might, I don't know, go into the bathroom or something, right? You go into the bathroom and you're walking. And then, and then you wake up, and your pants are around your ankles, and your dick and balls are wet. Yeah. Big panties knocks your ass out, and then sucks your dick, and just leaves you there, bro. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no, wait a minute. That went in a completely different direction than I thought. No. Hold on. Yes, wait bro. a minute. Yes. Stop. Okay, hold Now, on. here's Back what's scary. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, we're oh, gonna we're gonna talk this out because I don't understand. <laughs> no, I'm telling you more. I don't understand. You're gonna learn more. Oh you can't God. reason with Big Panties. Here's what's scarier, right? Big Panties been in the prison system since he was 16. Oh my God! And our this guy that me and George know, he was in prison. That's how he knew who he was. He heard about him, and he was in prison like back in the 90s, like late 80s. So Big Panties is old. So you know what that <laughs> means? You know what that means? Yeah. That means all he knows is suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> he's been he's been knocking people out and sucking their dick longer than he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. that there is so a man who crazy. has been beating ass and sucking dick longer <laughs> than he hasn't. So crazy. <laughs> you said he's old, so he's probably just gumming him. <laughs> <laughs> no denture adventure. Oh god. That's but so yeah. crazy. There's a man in there. Yes, bro. What? That yeah. is absurd. And that's all he and it's kind of sad because it's, he's been in there since he was 16, 16, so it's like the day he gets out. He's, I don't think he is. I think he got like a life sentence, like two life. So like, could you imagine like it? Just walking down the street, <laughs> he just up. points at you and just, and just somebody like that. They probably they probably, probably would be like, um, what's that one movie? The where homeboy um, hung himself because he got out of prison. What? I don't fucking know. It was that. Are you serious? The, um, it was a movie, right? Okay. It was um, I think it was a Scorsese film. I don't know who that is. The dude's in prison. Um, it's like a legendary movie. Everyone says to watch it. You're talking about the Green Mile? No, 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 no. You don't. You know what I'm talking about? The dude hung himself because he got released from prison. No. And he was super old, and the reason he Shawshank hung. Shawshank Redemption. Yes, thank you. Oh, Fuck. I, I've never seen that movie actually. Oh wow. 
Same. But someone like Big Panties. That's, that's okay, so wait. Back to what I was saying originally. <laughs> yeah. Back to what I was getting at, right? I have... I could spend 15 years mm-hmm. in prison with a man like Big Panties. <laughs> that name, man. That name. Because I gave, I gave somebody a plant for money. Willingly, willingly. Willingly. They said... Lowe's I, does it all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what the wait, fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Willingly. No. They, they thought to themselves... I understand what you're saying, but don't I, Lowe's, don't bring Lowe's in. That's different. Lowe's. I'm saying, though, I could... Look, I could spend 15 years in prison with big panties. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure there's enough Lowe's employees out there that would sell you plans, so... so. Yeah. <laughs> big panties, bro. Everything I just told you is very real. You know, I just I under, thought... I, I just that. thought me and George... I thought this guy we knew was just fucking with us, right? And then people, you know, we started talking to other coworkers, right? Everybody knew who he was. Is this Everybody like a dude in Indiana. Yeah, like he's that? in the Indiana oh, yeah. State Prison system. He's a legend in Indiana. <laughs> it's scary. Oh and here, you know what confirmed it for me? There was a dude that started working at the place that me and George worked at, and he was working as a guard for the prison system. I forget what place he was at. Please and tell me he did not. We were walking this. by, we were joking about big panties, and he goes, "Did you guys say big panties?" Please not, tell me he did not. No, 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 not him. No, 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 he, no, no, but I'm saying, like, please tell me he did not confirm that. Oh, he definitely did, bro. Oh, my God. Yes, he did. He goes, you guys talking about big panties? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, yo, that's not a joke, man. That guy is scary. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. And that's when I realized this is real. So then I looked it up, right? I just looked up. I forget what I typed in exactly. I think I had typed something like big panties prison or something like that. I'm about to look it up right now. And then there was this forum that came up and it was this guy talking about he bro and he work. it was the whole story how he knocks somebody out and sucks their dick. And he, like, the whole point of the forum was like, do you have any big panties in your prison system from where you're from? That's absurd. So yeah, that's our that's our justice system. You get stuck with a man who'll knock you out, suck you dick because I gave you some weed. Oh my god. Did you look it up? Bruh, Legend of Big Panties. Yes! <laughs> That's what it was called, the Legend of Big Panties. <laughs> oh, yes. my God. Bruh. This is Get a real man, it's bro. A, like, just like, you know how Google gives you a little snippet? It says, guards make sure Big Panty eat big. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. The, gu- the guards are in on it, bro. Big Panty done broke all prison weightlifting records and made uh, made him money. Yep. What the hell, bro? Yeah, see, the guards are low-key in on it because they'll give him extra food because, like they said, they bet on him. So, the and here, and... You never know if you're gonna be stuck with big panties because he's always they're moving him from different prisons all the time because they can't control him. Yeah. He's yeah. always just sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> they can't control this man, so they have to keep transferring him. Yeah, so at what point? Oh. At what point do you like just put him in it like away from everybody else? You don't like. How do you control that man? Like he's probably big enough now, he could probably just punch through the wall. So oh what are you God. gonna do? Put him in solitary? Are you gonna be the one who sticks your arm in there to get him this tray of food? <laughs> That's why you get one of them long poles. Because I'm gonna tell poles. you, I'm not. Just get one of them long I'm poles. I'm not gonna just, give like, that man this food because if I stick my hand in there and I get pulled in, I, I, <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself after. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying I'm gonna, just kill, I'm gonna just kill myself after. Why? Because if I wake up and my dick is falling <laughs> and I can't, and I can't explain it, I'm just gonna off myself because that's no way to live. <laughs> Why is this dude like? I just imagine you giving this food to a gorilla, and just this big black hairy <laughs> arm comes out and just yeah. rips you through the door. That is so terrible. How strong he is from all the protein of the loads. <laughs> like, oh my god, that's so funny. I can't believe this is real. How, dude? Like, how does this go under the radar? Like, they're like, I don't understand. I know. That's what I'm saying. Ah! That's our justice system. So, it was Halloween this week, right? Yeah. Do you know what my old coworker wore to the gym when he started when he went weightlifting? Like this, he's a big motherfucker. He lifts weights a lot. Yeah. He wore his prison oranges. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just learned about big panties today. Oh my god. He's this, a real man. Like this is like life changing, man. Like the fact that I know this now. And all y'all who are listening, if you don't believe me? Just Google the legend of big panties. I can confirm. I looked it up, and, there was, <laughs> and it's and it's. It's a first thing that comes up on Google. It says Legend of Big Panties, Godlike Productions. God click on that link. I didn't click on the link because I didn't know if there were gonna be pictures. What are like? I didn't need all that in my life, but like. No, nah, there's no pictures. It's just. A uh, oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, well, I mean, is it? I mean, no, but like it is at the no, same time. No, that's where it's fucked though. Again, you could fuck a child, and you might not ever have to deal with big panties. You sell some weed. You got a long time in prison. Big panties might uh, get transferred, and you might wake up with your dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't understand why. 
Like, what What in his life made him choose that out of everything? He'd been in prison since he was 16. But I'm saying, like, maybe it happened he's got to get some satisfaction. Maybe, See, that's what I'm looking for. Maybe it did happen to him. Maybe it happened to maybe. him. Maybe. And he started getting big, and he was like, Wait a I minute. ain't getting my dick sucked think no about, more. Think about I'm going to no, suck the dick. Think about this. What if there's, like, a generation of big panties? And they just like pass down the name from uh, like like big no, two to like no, what if what if this is re- no. Cody what if this is real oh you know what's even funnier about it I also found out George I don't know if I ever told you this I was asking OG about it and I was like he was bringing him up again you know how he talks how how do you think he talks like hey little motherfucker <laughs> give me your dick Seriously? nope nah this is how he talks hey, hey guys. hey how's it going I could tell I could probably tell you why this man is huge I understand that. But he's still, yeah, he's still gay. Uh, well, no. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, hey, yes, but gay, no. But, but like, because like, he's not you, doing it to pass. Because well, a lot of people who time. like, his name's Big Panties. I, would you just let me talk? So he's clearly got the Boy. little feminine in him. The so little, like, what do they call it? People sugar. who go through trauma at a young age, or people who go who like get, get put in prison at a young age, they don't have that. They don't have that. Like, they don't have like the society telling them how they should act as they get older. So some things change and some things don't. His so like brain his was voice, developing while he watched people get fucked. Well, that, but like his voice might have stabbed. never, his voice but not might have never ever grown up with his body because he's like maybe he went through trauma in prison, or whatever the what. That no, I'm talking people. about like he has like that dainty. Oh. Like hey, like that's how he talks. Does well, anybody know, you know why he actually went in in the first place? You know what? No, I, I don't think people talk to him. Like I wouldn't. I'm gonna have to ask. I'm gonna have to ask uh, OG about that. I'm gonna be like, do you know why? I think I forget what he said. But I know he's been in there for a long time, so you could assume probably murder. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's very, multiple, maybe. There's, there's very few things that get you in prison that long, so. <laughs> you could probably just run, look up a list and run down and be like, that seems probable. <laughs> like, and, at, and at this point, you know, they're keeping him in there because he keeps breaking the law. He just keeps <laughs> sucking dick. He's on the loose. <laughs> oh, my God. That's like, he's, well, he's technically a serial rapist. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but the justice system's in on it. Bro, that's so, that's that's the fucked up. Yeah, part. that's so fucked. The guards are like, ah, that's big panties. I mean, what are, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna stop him? If you if, okay, no way. Watch, bear with me, right? Okay, we we'll give you a scenario. All right, are you ready? Yeah. So you're a guard at um, the farm. Okay. You know what the farm is? I'm assuming it's a prison. Yeah, it's. But... I think it's in Putnamville. Okay. They call it the farm because there's no AC. Ah. And in the summer. It gets hot. Oh, you can guess what it smelled like. Shit. Oh, it smelled it smell like a farm because you got it's anyway. Big brotherly black man all sweating mm. and stuff. You got big panties running. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got dick sucking smell everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a guard at the farm and you're on your night you know your nightly run whatever right? Yeah. You know you got your little baton you're hitting it on the cage. Ding, 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 ding. Why would you ever do that? I don't know, bro. I'm giving you a scenario. I know, I know. Think I'm just of it like a movie, right? Okay, okay. Only this shit's real life. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a dick for real. You turn the corner, and you see this man just sprawled out like this, <laughs> and, you see, and you and you see big panties ass just on top of him sucking his dick. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna keep fucking walking. <laughs> exactly. like, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna act like I didn't see it <laughs> and gonna, just keep walking, what bro. What are you gonna do? Hey, it's hey, like, hey, stop it! Hey, hey no. big panties. I just imagine him like you know how like. And those vampire movies, whenever they see the vampire and he's like eating the body and how they look up. <laughs> like I just imagine like he got he got dick in his mouth and he looks up and he's got like that string <laughs> rubber and he has the string <laughs> and he looks up and he's just like <sighs> or he's like, Oh hey and he like fucking sprints at the guard, I'm gonna suck your dick too. Come here <laughs> Oh my god. I can, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a real person. Like, so again, like I said, the justice system is on it because nobody's gonna stop that okay. man. Speaking of walking it, like seeing things that you Bruh, don't want to see. You... Hold on, oh, hold shit. on. Oh shit! What happened to you? Yesterday, oh, my when I was leaving the, the house, I had parked. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, had parked, I had parked. Uh, like a like a street away from Cody's place. Yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Look over at this car. It's been on for like uh, thirty minutes. I look in just as I'm passing by. People are just fucking in there. <laughs> they just fucking. And he called. I called him. I'm like, yeah, who's driving the black Honda? And I thought it was like my fr- our friend DP. Because he drives a black Honda. And I was like, oh, it's DP's car. And he goes, well, you might want to tell him people are fucking in his car. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I looked over at DP. And I was like, oh, my God. How do I tell him this? <laughs> uh, but it turned out to be his car, though. 
No, no okay. I, I forget how he figured it out, but yeah, no, it wasn't his car. That was bro. Fire. I mean, like everything. She was going up, and down, <laughs> and up. And bro, so Tracy, he was, was on her back. He was. Do you leaving. know who it was? I, th- I thought it was Ariel. She was, but, on, her, she was yeah. on her period, so if that's the case. Jeez, why? Whoa, Jesus. calm down. Too much information. And we can we go- talk about sucking dick all day. But. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying. You know how I know? Because she told me, and I didn't want to know. Stop. I don't. Even, I don't even man. know this chick. That's gross. Now you know. Hey, if I have to suffer, you have to suffer. Don't know. I don't now I've you know. Before, so. You don't. Okay. Anyway, so Tracy was leaving our store one day, right? Who's Tracy? My boss. Okay. He, he was walking. You know how Clay Terrace? They got like the like the alleyways and at least the parking lot yeah. in the back. Well, he's walking back there. And I don't know why they chose this spot, but there are street lights in the parking lot, right? Like a normal yeah. parking lot. Why were there two people directly under the street light? Of course, right? Just fucking. Like, just straight up fucking. God damn. So, like, Tracy's walking by. His car is literally right next to him. Of course, him, right? Because where I think, else would it be? Like, I, I don't remember if it was, but, like, it was in that he was close. It was, like, super close. So, like, he, go, he goes to his car or whatever. A big truck comes by. This truck sees it, too. Lays on his horn. I was like, that's, that's <laughs> so wrong. Why are they fucking right at like right. they wanted people to see right. that's, that's the only that's right. my only explanation. Right. Because if you're gonna park under the street light, that's a spotlight. Like they're like they're practicing for Right, because like there's there's a street light on one end of the rows of cars, there's a street light on the other. The row's not that long. Like it's com- it's completely Do y'all lit. park in the back? Yeah. Like by the dog park? Uh no, close the first row. So like Closer to, closer to the building. So you don't park in the back. Well, I mean, that's the so back that parking mean that, lot. You mean to tell me that these fucking animals, fucking animals, get it? Yeah, these like... fucking animals were fucking they weren't, right they, next to I everything? can guarantee you they weren't in the back. Because Tracy don't ever park back there. Ever. So they didn't have the common fucking decency nope. to park away from no. everybody else with their genitals out. No, I'm going to have to ask him what the, like, the full rundown was. Because I was just baffled that like this happened. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus Christ, People dude. Ridiculous. And I, I don't They're remember... I don't remember what day it was, but if it was like a, during the week, I was like, "You guys, <laughs> you guys obviously have no lives whatsoever." But yeah, I was like, like, like even in high school, I hear about people like, "Oh, we we fucked in the car in a parking lot." I'm like, "Why?" I mean, I have. I've Why? Done, I've done it plenty of times, but I have the common decency to do it somewhere where nobody's gonna wander around. I mean, so it's yeah. just a car out there by itself, just rocking back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I mean, if in the you dark, see, so. yeah, in the yeah. dark, you gotta turn the lights off. Don't, don't let your car keep running. Oh no, 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 the headlights were on and everything when I saw. It. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you gotta keep the car on because it's gonna get steamy in there. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna want the AC to run. No, nah, because well, I mean, just turn the lights off. Yeah, you like, turn your headlights the, off. You're fine. Nah, that's... Yeah. You ain't never fucked in the car before. Really? That's exhilarating. <laughs> Because you're like, I'm kind of in public, but I'm kind of not. But and I'm, people could see. I have no interest they in that. They might not. I have no interest That's in that. That's what tinted, light, or tinted windows are for. Yeah, it's no fun, though. That's, I have no interest in that. I feel like I'm... Oh, never mind. I was going to say something. <laughs> I was going to I was gonna say something, but it's, I could probably get me arrested. <laughs> oh, you know what? Just don't say it. <laughs> you, can say it you can say off... off. Off the podcast, but don't, don't say it right now. I don't, we don't need that problem. Yeah, speaking of that subject, I'll get to that later. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for us, Jordy? My breasts won't stop growing. Oh, Jesus. That's a thing. That sounds horrible, actually. Yep. Right? You know here's, her back is the, probably got here's, scoliosis. Here's the tagline. No matter what, Sarah Sheridan said she'd always been body conscious, but meeting Bo was a turning point because he made her feel beautiful. <laughs> That's Bo's face. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got me a good one. I got a big one right here. That's actually funny. Fun fact of the day. I'm reading an article now, Time Magazine. An American woman just won the New York City Marathon for the first time since 1977. Oh, we beat that. Today I learned a teen injected himself with wow. mercury, mercury at least three times to turn himself into Wolverine from X-Men. No Wait, way. What? Stop. No. Stop. It's not a thing. Mm-hmm. That's not a thing. Mm-hmm. Please stop. If you pull up some like mercury? people mag, I swear to God. A teen injected himself with mercury at least three times. At least three times. He also had intentional That's multiple obs- spider bites in the past after wanting to become spider. What the fuck? What is wrong with people? People are fucking goofy. See, and this goes down to like what's wrong with society. We'll go on another so, little stint here. So much. So you have, you know, the just or whatever. So society, right? Yeah. Let me ask you all a question. <clears throat> so, um, Columbine, right? I don't know if you all ever heard, but the whole Columbine thing, they started blaming, does anyone know? The parents nope. or the school? The video games? 
Marilyn Manson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Started blaming Marilyn Manson. So, I know how I stand, and I think it's fucking, I think that all that's bullshit. Oh, well, yeah. Feel, yeah. But, so, do y'all think, even though it, we know, right, entertainment, movies, music, games, books, mm-hmm. whatever, what have you, right? Yep. We know that they, I don't know if I want to say inf- influence. Influence. Maybe. Influence. Yeah. I feel like if I use that word, what I'm about to say doesn't really It matter. contradicts what you're saying. Right. Yeah. They have a influence on our life. They don't influence our actions per se, necessarily. It depends, I guess. So what I'm getting at, I guess, is do you think that entertainment can cause things like that? I think, like this dumbass kid, I think that clearly his parents fucking <laughs> failed. Yeah. If, if, they, no. if they didn't tell him that, hey, if you get bit by a spider, you might go to the hospital. You don't come Spider-Man, you, you just might die. Yeah. No. Or if you eject this metal shit, this liquid metal into your body, it may not be good for you. What the fuck was he getting mercury first? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, you had a break th- over on th- a lot of thermometers. A lot, yeah, a lot of thermometers. <laughs> that's funny. Which, how many thermometers really have mercury in them anymore? Not like, anymore. Exactly. Like that's he had to like this had to be a project. He had to, he had go to, to like s- goodwill, like stockpile the these. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I will say it depends because no, nah, I don't think so. No, it does because no. Can you just let me talk? I guess. Guy. So like. If you're talking about, I hate the the, word, the idea of an average citizen. Like, if you're talking about the average citizen, no. It's a thing. I know it's a thing, but I hate it. No. Because, you know, not not everyone everyone knows the right and wrong. And this but that's and that. what I'm saying. It's, but, it's, 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 but it's not, I don't think it's always the parents' fault either. And it's, what? It can sometimes Whose fault be the is it then? The kid's mind. No. No. I think sometimes no, it it's is. It's the parents' fault because... As a baby, when you're a parent, you're supposed to be molding them into like this functional human being. I, I if you don't that. socialize your child, something else will. And if it's media, exactly. particularly violent I'm, I'm, media, I understand, I understand there's that too. But I'm saying like there are still cases where people in their head they just don't understand that it's not real. Which that's not anyone's fault. That's just their mind working in a different way. That's, that's a form of mental illness, though. I understand so that. Are but, you, are you but, saying? But uh, the, but the media still influences what they think because they still take in media the same way me and you do. Are you saying that the only way that could be a thing is if they are mentally ill? And to an extent, yeah. Because like I don't th- yes, because I don't think like the average person just watches like Double right. O Seven and think, oh, I can be James Bond. Like that's just not a thing. Right. But I think like that there are but cases. How many, ta- in, how many times are like in these cases are they actually mentally ill? I, I mean, I don't know because I don't. I can't honestly tell uh, you that. Plus, there's a couple different. Uh, called types of mental illness. It could be a developmental thing. Like people are starting to think that uh, ADHD. It's not a genetic thing. It's a, it's a developmental thing. Like if you weren't developed right. Yeah. Funny enough, if you don't let kids play, they develop it. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're I mean, all pent that, up. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But, but I mean, like, sense. here's a theory though. Here's a theory for you. Now that I brought this up. All right. So talking about, you do have these, you know. People with these problems yeah. in their brain, mm-hmm. you know, maybe they weren't developed right, which again comes down on the parents. Yeah. Or maybe, just they, maybe, well, that the school system. Yeah, yeah. that's a whole. Other thing. <laughs> that's but a that's whole that's other that's thing. Ooh, I'll get to that in a second. Hold on, but <laughs> do we have the time to do that? First of all, <laughs> no. But it's fine. No. Just keep going. Okay. Just keep going. But anyway, here's a theory for you, right? So the Orlando shooting was it a year ago, two years ago. Uh, yeah. he, yes. Everyone started out ISIS. ISIS, ISIS, right? He, ISIS. he said, he said ISIS. What if that's the same case? Because at this point in time, they plaster ISIS over TV so much it's almost in a fucked up way entertainment. And so, if you think about it, how often are they trying to like really plaster that over stuff? Hey, ISIS did this, ISIS did this, and it's on TV. And we're in an age where like you're consuming so much, it's almost to the point to where nothing has substance anymore. The, I'm gonna tell you the differences. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, no, I, I know. So I know exactly at at this mean. point, it's like almost like ISIS is like this it's entertainment. Just a, it's like a yeah, meme. like it's exactly. So maybe. It's world star. And so now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so now, like, you had the Columbine, who you know, inspired by Marilyn yeah. Manson. Now you have shootings that are inspired by ISIS. Yes, but uh-huh. the difference well, just, the difference with Orlando is that he was actually investigated by the FBI multiple times for being yeah. associated with known terrorist groups but I see what you're saying because it makes sense yeah. also so. another thing is uh, a lot of people become nihilistic like 
Don't get me wrong, I find them a bit funny too, but you know how many memes there are about that'll end with like someone screaming Allah Akbar? Yeah, Allah Akbar, yeah. Allah Akbar, yeah. Or like, I don't know where the 9 11, like a paper airplane flies out of frame. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I find them too, but like, if you actually sit there and think about it, like, I wouldn't go out of my, my way to make that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Like, even me. And you know how I am. But that's how like society is, is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, we've, it's, we've devolved into this thing where. Desensitized to it. Exactly, yeah, trolls. yeah. Well, yeah, internet trolls, but desensitized, I think that's the perfect word to describe it. You just, we've been fed, yeah. force-fed at that, so much information all at once, good, bad, in between, irrelevant. Now it's like, we're consuming more, and we want more, and we want. I mean, whether we realize it or not, we laugh at shit like that, and it's probably not supposed to be funny. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, mean, but that's just... <laughs> we have reasons. But we in the reasons. same light, though, in the same light, Mr. Comedian... There's this thing where you laugh the pain away, right? Yeah, no, there's yeah. a very big difference between that is the joke and you're making a joke to make light of the situation. Like, remember the the whole Harvey, oh, Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like Harvey Weinstein? Remember Bro. The, remember, <laughs> no, no, no. Remember the Harvey Weinstein podcast where I was just sitting there like, uh, He was like... I couldn't make jokes. I his, couldn't... The look on his face. Management. He was like, he was like, I don't know what to do. Brain's not working. I was like, George, like, what are you doing? That's what when the jokes stop. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I see what you're saying. It's it's very much a defense mechanism. <laughs> this is true. So instead of that being the joke, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Because when I joke about, uh, yeah, okay. But with these memes, it's different because like, nine eleven and all those people dying is the joke. Yeah, yeah. That's the joke. Yeah. Paper airplane mass murder just. Well, I don't think that. No, 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 no. Microphone up, dog. I don't think. I don't think that's the joke. I think the the idea of like it just happening, like it just appearing really quick. Oh, true. It is absurd. I think it's more shock. uh, The shock kind of turns into chuckles, like, "Huh, what was that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's. I feel like that's a typical response to being confused. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is that one joke that's that's been really prevalent in the news this last week or so. And uh, do you guys want to know it? Yeah. You know who my favorite magician is? Stop! Oh. <laughs> I, I hate you so Dude, much. What? I didn't hear this one. You, you're going to start this again, and it's going to piss me <laughs> off. David Copperfield. Oh, my God. That I, mm. Phil, we, well, we, 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 that was last week. Okay, We're, Let's we've explain grown. this to we've Cody. We've grown, Let's okay? Let's explain this to Cody. I'm crying because I can't laugh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cody, real quick. Come on. <laughs> Wait, Cody, Cody needs a minute. He needs a minute to. <laughs> he's, he's legitimately <laughs> I'm crying because I'm not supposed to laugh. I'm holding it in. Okay, so basically what happened is we talked about it last week. That's fine. Five, <laughs> five people have come forward and said George H. W. Bush has sexually assaulted them. Dude, he's he's 94 and in a wheelchair. <laughs> And the only reason that joke is so funny is because he uses the same punchline for multiple jokes. Who? George H. W. Bush in a wheelchair. <laughs> Cody is so real. I promise. So you. <laughs> the first the first person who came forward, they said he they said he asked me a question. He was like, "Do you want to know who my favorite magician is?" So I leaned in closer and asked, "Like, who? No, who?" And he said, "David Copperfield." And then he grabbed my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. Okay. It gets so much so better. Then, the next worse, four people, better, the next four worse. people to come through and claim something say he used almost an identical joke. The second person was, "Do you want to know who my favorite author is?" <laughs> David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> so he's using the same punchline for like multiple Do jokes. You know who my favorite what producer is? David Copperfield. Har- Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it! But this, bastards. It makes that made me mad because George for the rest of that podcast, every five seconds, they printed. You know what my favorite magician is? I was like, oh, <laughs> like David Copperfield. No, I'll do dumbass shit like, David what's Copperfield. My, I'm like, stop it! Like, what's my favorite Laffy Taffy flavor? David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it was random shit ever. I was like, oh my god, that's fried. <laughs> but it's so funny that it's George H.W. Bush. Like, it's just like... <laughs> Herbert Walker. <laughs> uh, god yeah, damn it, Herb. All right, it's time to wrap this up. All right, well...